welcome. We're going to be looking at the operating and safety features of this. It's the Ingersoll Rand Lift Star Air Winch. We'll also take a look at the man riding procedures laid down within the company and those required by both Lola, the lifting operations and lifting equipment regulations, and the Health and Safety at Work Act. The LiftStar LS150RLPE is a dedicated air winch specifically designed for man riding operations on fixed installations by means of a Willens T24 harness. It must not be used for lifting persons with work baskets or other lifting platforms. The winch was designed and operates in accordance with Lola, Puer and Community Directives CE markings for this type of equipment. The Lift Star has an SWL of 150 kilograms and operates with a 10 millimeter wire rope. This is a much smaller wire than you may have used in the past. However, the wire rope has an SWL of 1300 kilograms, so the limiting factor is the 150 kilogram pull of the winch. It can be lever operated or used in conjunction with a piloted pendant to give remote control. Both the lever and the pendant configuration have an emergency stop device that acts directly on the main airflow to immobilize the winch. The speed of operation can be at full speed, which is 35 meters per minute, or when a more controlled rate is required by inching the wire. But it's the safety features that make this type of winch special. Let's take a look at them in some detail and get an overview of its operation. The first safety feature is the emergency stop button. This is fitted to the winch unit itself and the remote control PHS pilot pendant if used. Whilst the unit has an overload protection device that will sense any increase in pressure on the motor and automatically immobilize the winch, the manual emergency stop button will cut the air supply and totally immobilize the winch. If the emergency stop button has been operated, you'll have to reset the winch before further work can commence. Twist the button clockwise to release the button and press the on button below to return air to the winch, thus making the winch operational again. The flange mounted overload protection device eliminates the possibility of excessive pull on the person being winched. This model is also fitted with a dual automatic brake system which incorporates two independent brakes, one internal multi-disc brake and one external drum brake band. This system provides 100% redundancy and therefore prevents free falling should one or other of the brakes fail. The slack wire detector senses when the wire is slack and automatically stops the operation of the winch. This will prevent the man rider being hung up and suddenly dropped as would happen if the wire continued to spool out. When spooling the wire on, the wire is fed under drum, through a locator hole and anchor part on the drum, and looped back around an anchor block, which provides a truly secure anchor to the drum. This model is also fitted with a spooling device to provide better winding of the rope under no load conditions, which also minimizes risk of damage to the rope from bad spooling. The upper and lower maximum travel limits can be preset with this winch. These adjustments should be made with a test load before operations with a person begin. These adjustments must be carried out by a competent person and controlled under the permit to work system. Used correctly, these setups will restrict the movement of the rope to the specific work range required for the task and in turn will reduce the risk to personnel. As you would expect, the air winch also comes with a drum guard to protect the winch operator. Transocean Setco 4X has its own procedures for man riding operations, so in the next section of the programme we'll take a look at these in more detail. And we'll also examine the relevant legislation, such as LOLA, the Lifting Operations and Lifting Equipment Regulations, and the Health and Safety at Work Act to see how we as a company comply. 
The Safety Management System Manual, or SMS, Section 4, Subsection 5, 8, covers manwriting operations. For any task deemed essential, and where a manwriting operation has been established as the only safe way to complete that task, then you will have a number of things to do before the operation can begin. The rig-specific procedure and task risk assessment for manwriting operations must be reviewed by all crew members involved in manwriting operations. Proper control measures must be put in place for the risks identified. Check the SMS to see if the manwriting operation you are about to carry out is required to be covered by a permit to work. Remember, only trained and competent personnel can be directly involved in this task. The next step is to brief everyone involved, or anyone who's liable to be affected by the operation. This will generally be done through a toolbox talk, using the THINK planning process and the pre-manwriting operations checklist. Before starting any manwriting operation, it's important to go through certain pre-task procedures. No matter how many times you've used a winch, everyone involved in the operation must go through the main means of communication. We'll take you through these now. We have to set up a line of communication from the air winch operator to the person in the harness. This should be line of sight whenever possible. An assistant driller or above is to supervise all manwriting operations as per the SMS. By line of sight, we mean either a direct line of sight between the air winch operator and the manwriter or a line of sight using one banksman who can see both the air winch operator and the man rider. Radios are an important tool in man riding operations and can be used to aid communications. But remember, whenever possible, the line of sight has to be maintained. If radios are used because of the distance involved, then the operators must be trained in their use. The radios should also be checked and the battery history determined from the radio register to ensure that it's fully charged and free from any defects. The radio operator will normally keep the register, however this may vary from rig to rig. Where radios are being used, the verbal signals should be continuous, for example, up, 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 down, 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 or stop, stop, stop. Radios must always be returned and the battery recharged when you go off shift. Never pass a radio on to the next crew. Once the communications have been established and deemed reliable, then the hand signals, per the SMS, are to be used and be agreed by all parties involved. The hand signals are as follows. Up. down, and stop. If the winch operator or the banksman is no longer receiving the visual or verbal signals, then the operation must stop immediately to determine the cause of the breakdown in communication. As part of the pre-man riding checklist, inspect the harness and equipment to make sure it's fit for the purpose. You will have to check for damage to the rings and material of the harness and examine the stitching for wear or deterioration. It's worth remembering that any tools required should be secured to prevent the risk of dropped objects. At this point, you must recheck that the lines of communication are operating and that everyone involved is aware that the man-riding operation is about to begin. The success of these operations relies on the trained and competent personnel involved. It's everyone's responsibility to ensure that all safety measures are in place and that any changes to the planned work are assessed fully before the operation proceeds. Remember, procedures can only be effective if they're followed. If possible, the same personnel should be involved for the duration of the task. If this is not possible, then a full and complete handover must be done before a relief is allowed to take part in the operation. If you are unsure or in any doubt about the task, 
then you should call a timeout for safety to establish what you need to do. Remember, safety is not a priority with Transocean Setco Forex. It is a core value and is our greatest responsibility. When everyone is accountable, we will have a safer place in which to work.